Uncle Tom. Uncle Tom. So right now, I just got all of my cleaning supplies from one of the cars that I own. I am part owner of a rental company. So that's how I have access to all of these cars. I do own all the cars as well. So I will be doing a lot of videos with all of the cars sooner or later, but right now the rental season is extremely hot so most of the cars aren't here um i get to do very limited content because they're always out and especially now during the summer and especially especially um during this time now that covid is like going away or whatever and um we're in tier yellow tier or something um for reopening in la um yeah so i'll try and do my best and do content whenever i can with the cars but it's really hard for me to like get a hold of a car because they're just always rented like this one just came back from memorial day weekend and it's filthy so i'm just gonna go and wash it and see how clean i get it um the reason why i don't take it to the car wash is because I don't have time. It's gonna go out tomorrow at 9 a.m. So it just got back from a rental and Since it's gonna go out at 9 in the morning. There's no time for me to drop it off There's no car wash that's open before 9 a.m. Um, so I'm just gonna do it myself. I enjoy washing the cars anyway. It's not like a big deal to me. So and I feel like I do a better job honestly than the car wash does because the car wash you literally take it and it comes back even sometimes even worse i'm just like what they do like what did they do um it's just it's just they do a bad job and then they expect you to just be okay with it and i'm not okay with it because i don't want my clients driving these expensive luxury cars um being dirty from the previous renter so i just do it myself and since I have some free time right now, I just came and did it. But yeah, you guys will see me washing this beautiful red interior Range Rover. Hopefully it doesn't take me, as, I mean, it probably will take me as long as a Trackhawk because the interior is dirty. Last time the Trackhawk had a clean interior, but this time this, this interior is just filthy. So we'll see. But I enjoy the interior more than the exterior because the outside obviously is huge. Wash the car right now. I'm going to use the pre-soak, so let's start with that. put soap on their cars before doing this and that's like crazy because all it does is makes the dirt stick on so the point of the uh, rinsing before is to just take all the dirt off and just any sticky stuff like this car has I don't know what what they put on here as you can see right there if there's like lines and stuff I think they put like food boxes or something so I'm trying to get all that sticky stuff off before I even put soap on it because the soap is just going to soak in and then just get all that grime and, and bring it off of the car.
already uh, rinsed it first, then uh, put soap on it, then I washed the tires and wheels with a brush, and then I spot free rinsed it again. Now I'm, all, I'm about to vacuum it. Make sure that when you, I mean, I'm about to dry it. This thing looks like a vacuum. But when you uh, dry it, make sure you get this thing, this dryer, before you press the button because it goes crazy and one time it scratched one of my cars. So just don't don't press it first and then get it. Get it first and then press it. Okay, so I used the air chamois, the thing I call the vacuum, and now I'm using this, um, just a normal chamois to dry the rest of the car. I can barely reach, but I'm trying. I know I burned like, I didn't bring my watch, my Apple watch, but I probably burned like 300 calories washing this car. This is like the most tedious part about washing cars, drying cars. But I'm almost done. And then on to the interior and we go. Okay, so that's good for now. We'll let it just air dry while I clean the interior. I just try to get any spots that like will stick and be water spots because I don't want that. But other than that, I think we are good. Okay, so now moving on to the interior. Um, I showed you guys that it was super dirty and like there was sticky stuff in here. So now I'm just using the Armorall multi-purpose cleaner. Basically this is, you could put it on leather, 
uh, vinyl, all the interior of the car. So I'm just going to spray the car in here and hopefully it takes off all the sticky stuff. I have no idea what's on here, but usually this gets the job done. And now I'm just taking a micro clean microfiber and just going to clean the seats. Okay, so it actually did take off all that sticky stuff. As you can see, it's just clean now. So that always gets the job done. I really do like armor all. A lot of people like other stuff, but I'm just always running around and armor all is the one that these car washes have. So that's what I use and it, and it works. It gets the job done. Okay, so now I have to do that seat and then the front and then basically just a dashboard and then I'll be done. Okay, so the back is, the seats are done back here. And I'm actually letting the mats sit with the armor all because there was more sticky stuff that I have no clue. <coughs> Sorry, I have no clue what that is, but I'm just gonna let it sit and soak while I do the rest. Okay, so I'm pretty much done. It's really clean inside and but I'll throw that away. Now I'm just going to put tire shine on all the tires and that's pretty much it. Once I do this, I'm done. You always want to put tire shine. That just gives the, the car the effect and the look that it's just really clean. If you ever wash your car and you don't put tire shine, that's like you wash it for nothing because they're just dry and it just like does not match the car that's clean. Especially when you have black wheels like this, it's a must. I literally just carry this with me in whatever car I'm driving so I can put it on. And as you can see, it just makes the tires and the rims look so beautiful. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm out of breath again. This one was way harder than the Trackhawk because of the interior, but I know, I know I did a good job. But yeah, I'm done with this car. So I just got the Range Rover clean and now I'm taking it back to just do the finishing details in here and whatever I need to do for the rental tomorrow morning. I'm just glad I got this done tonight and not like at 6 a.m. because I would have had to woke in, wake up at 6 a.m. to get this done and have it ready for 9 a.m. Um, I really do enjoy driving this Range Rover. It's not the Trackhawk but um it's really fast and i really love put your seat on i really love driving this range rover it's probably one of my favorite cars well not my favorite cars but one of my favorite trucks next to the track hawk um it's really loud and i really love how luxurious it is in here like it's just i love the the screen that they have in here the way it drives is just I don't know it's really smooth and then the sound also um it's not a track hawk though so don't get it twisted but 
yeah it's just a really enjoyable car to drive so now that i'm done with it i'm just gonna take it back to our garage park it and have it ready for the morning um i hope you like that wash video because it took a lot for me to wash it these big trucks always take a lot for me to wash them because they're just so huge but yeah, so make sure you like, subscribe, and go follow me on Instagram at KimDivas underscore. And yeah, hope you enjoyed the video.